Hello everybody, this is the Tatane Gamer Dude here, and welcome back to my Let's Play Guide of Resident Evil 6 on No Hope Difficulty. This is on Chris's campaign on Chapter 4, and this cam this chapter is not easy. Yeah, I'll just use a grenade there, because it's a quick get off the piers, and if you don't say piers in time, he actually dies and you have to restart <clears throat> from the beginning, which you're not far from the beginning, so there's going to be snipers that are going to be here. So what you want to do immediately is you just want to slide over to uh, the left so you can get out of the way of the fire. There's going to be a drop on the stairs here shooting. What the? No. Damn it. So here's a new mutation. This is like the body bomb mutation. This mutation will, again, try to kamikaze the player. And yeah, if you get hit by that, you are going to be put in dying status on this difficulty, which is on no hope. So, um, what you want to do next is, you want to go up, oh wow, that actually hit me. <laughs> you want to go up and destroy the snipers immediately, because they are going to troll you throughout this entire first section of this chapter. Like, seriously, you want to get rid of them fast and quickly. So, uh, yeah, coming over here. There we go. Slide out of the way. Alright. Where are you at? Alright. There goes one. Okay. By the light. Yep. By the light. Alright. There that goes. Another one over here. Is that a fire canteen? Yes, it is. When he says Alpha to HQ, that means that's the visual, that's the sound cue, meaning you have destroyed all the Dravos shooting at you with snipers. And that's really good, because you really want to get rid of them. Snipers do so much damage to you on No Hope. You do not want to take them lightly. So the main focus of this, the first section of Chapter 4 on Chris's campaign is to get that bulkhead open. So we can actually get the Ada Wong. But when they start you off, they start you off with enemies in front of you. And yeah, these enemies are really, really dangerous. When I mean really dangerous, I do mean like ridiculously dangerous. There we go. Since that guy's crouching, you can actually just smash his face in. I'm just making sure Piers is following me because, um... Yeah, there's going to be a lot of enemies up here and, uh... They're going to spawn after this little cutscene. I'm just going to skip past the cutscene. See the enemies up there? So yeah, what do we learn? There's a sniper. There's actually two snipers. So I immediately take my time. And at least get one of them to mutate. Alright, hopefully I get enough distance away from that guy. Yeah, I'm just going to run past that guy. I'm going to tell Piers to follow me. You want to tell him to follow you too. Because this little cutscene right here is actually going to freeze you and leave you vulnerable. And then the pod is just hatched out of there. Yeah, I'm telling Pierre the computer to follow me. So, you know. Don't have to deal with these enemies. But, um, he's having some trouble. Alright. I <laughs> just wanted to shoot that guy. Shoot that in the pod. <laughs> okay. Now we can continue on. Yeah. And the snipers up here, if they're still alive, they will still shoot you up here. And it's bad because the enemies below can shoot you too. Or the Juavo, should I say. So yeah, we're doing a pretty decent job. I only took half damage. Yep. So you gotta activate that cutscene. And you know. Don't run back. Just stay where you are because... Yeah, the bridge that leads to it. Well, not the bridge that leads to it, but, you know, they'll, they'll turn, and then, you know, we can just be here. So, uh, you actually want to make sure you at least have five pips of health for a very, very good reason. Five, six of your health is filled, and you'll, you'll see in a little bit. You could just fight those guys, but, um... <laughs> I would not advise on it on this difficulty. You want to quickly just run past them and then preemptively mash X. You can just die here too, by the way. Which, of course, it's bad design, but, you know, we'll just deal with it. 
Yeah, if these snipers shoot you, which they're most likely going to shoot you, for some, some, I guess for some reason, sometimes they don't shoot you, which is really strange. But they took off so much damage if you get hit by a bullet. There's going to be a bar on the right, and when we cross it, that will be like the cue for us to let go. So the worst part is that when we, we're going to come down here, and we're going to be facing a bunch of it. Well, that's not good. Yeah, they can actually grab you when you're like on the ground, too. So like when you get hit by an enemy, you can get wrecked so fast if this mutation is around. So now I'm just surrounded by a bunch of these enemies. Yeah, see, how did I not get caught there? See, the camera just does whatever it wants. Yeah, these snipers are here, and this just, this is just not good. Because Pierce didn't get rid of them. Yeah, I'm trying to get rid of the sniper. But as you can see, it's not really working. Oh my gosh, this is so annoying. So difficult on this part is so difficult. I don't care what no one says. This chapter is not easy. Chris's campaign is just not easy. Cause there are a bunch of enemies. So many enemies. So many durable enemies. Look, most of them still aren't dead, so let me just use another one. Ooh, that was close. Are, are, are most of them still dead now? No, we don't have time for this. These enemies are so durable! I'm sitting here dodging these snipers, and now we have that to deal with. Come on, peers. Goodness, these snipers are so annoying. They're completely disrupting everything. Oh, man. Hope let me just take one. Yeah, I'm telling Pierce to follow me. So annoying. Die! There we go. Alright, you want to preemptively rotate the left thumbstick for this QTE, and then Pierce has to do the rest. And don't press the A button or anything, because we have to actually aim the rocket at the bulkhead and then you know, fire it off and destroy the bulkhead. But it's not over just yet. It's really not over. Yep, so we jump down here, jump down here again, and there's even more enemies. You want to just go over to the left, I mean the right, and get inside here. There's plenty of cover. So I'm just going to use a first aid spray. I'm going to just... What the heck is going on? No, 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 no. No, this is not... No. Let me just run back. Alright. Shut off the enemies, alright. Telling peers to follow me. Yeah. Oh man, we're off to a shaky beginning already. <laughs> I did actually did like a um a test run of this chapter, most of it on normal. Oh damn it! No, 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 no! Not getting stone locked. No! Oh my God! Not you! No! There we go, dead. He's still back there getting shot. That's just not cool at all. Oh my god. There we go. Got that guy to mutate. Oh my gosh, these bullets do so much knockback and damage. Alright. Who cares if this guy's gonna blow up? We can just easily exploit that. Alright. Alright, he's right here. Good. Yeah, that guy's going to mutate too. Most of the time if you shoot him. Now you also, make sure you farm. Because this chapter is... All these chapters are ridiculous, and this is actually like a breather part. But um, I'm going to have to cut it here. It's okay, though. And I'm back. Alright. Still not done with the first part of <laughs> chapter 4. Alright. This, this is actually a, a breather part. You know, you can practically avoid getting shot. 
there's no reason for you to, there's no way you should logically take damage here if you're doing everything optimally. Yeah, alright. Why not both bust open these crates? You might as well on no hub difficulty. Like on a lower difficulty, I don't understand if you wanted to save time. But yeah, we don't actually need to... We don't, we're not on a lower difficulty. <laughs> we want to take as many resources as we possibly can on this difficulty. Because you die so fast. And you, ugh. Enemies can wreck you so fast and so hard. You really come to admire these break parts in the game on every campaign. Alright, again, still a break part, so... Alright, how many of those? I have six of those, really? Let me get rid of one of those. Um, I guess I'll take one, because herb optimization is really important. The max herbs you want to carry on you at all times is at least at l no at at least is six and the max is eleven. And then you put six more in your herb case and the max you can have is seventeen. Seventeen is the optimal number. Optimal number. So there's going to be uh, an airplane that comes down here, and this airplane is going to just shoot at us. I have an airplane. It's like a battleship. But this, basically, it's going to shoot at us, and yeah, that guy will hit you, and it's pretty freaking cheap. Like, if you ask me, he should spawn after the cutscene, not during the cutscene, but that guy just took off, like, most of my health, which is a real bummer. Yeah, so, the game wants us to go that way, but, um, no. In reality, you just have to go this way. So, I'm going to take an herb here for safety, <laughs> because why not? Yep, you just follow the square on the screen, and you get to it. Yeah, you can still get wrecked, so do not think you're safe. I'm telling peers to follow me, because why not? So as you can see, we go exactly the same place we went before, except we go to this door. Oh my goodness, peers. What's going on? Oh, the AI is getting stun locked. See, that's why you don't want to be in that area, because... That area can wreck you so fast. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is that sucks so much. Yeah, let me as soon as he stops getting stun locked, he'll be alright. Alright. Well I might as well help him a little bit. One two there we go <laughs> those enemies can what the hell what, no you jumped right across there again Chris right yeah see they can actually follow you back here and they will wreck you oh my god Pierce damn it Pierce stop shooting come on a Stupid AI. I swear. Oh, so annoying. Fuck. Flashbang. Stop it. Damn. Oh my god, these enemies. Yeah, see, this is why you want to hurry up and get to the door, but... My AI is being so garbage right now. This never happened to me. No. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe this is actually happening on camera. <laughs> this is just fine and dandy. How am I not dead yet? Am I going to die now that I've said that? <laughs> How am I not dead yet? <laughs> Look at me. I have to reload my gun and everything. This is so stupid. Like, I swear, I did a run of this before. This didn't happen. This didn't happen. I didn't even die here. But it was it was on normal, but I didn't have no defense skills. So I'm just going to cut it right here until I get to the part I need to get to. <sighs> Finally, I'm here. Thankfully, it only took me a few minutes. But it, I used a lot more herbs than I should. That part is so annoying. 
yeah, you won't really notice the flaws of this game until you, like, play on a higher difficulty. You play on a high difficulty, and you don't equip your defense level 3. And you don't have skills equipped. That's why No Hope is really freaking difficult, because... You can die so fast, and you're... Huh. My goodness, like... See, look up here. Why is he fighting these enemies? What makes it worse is that, like, you get put in way too much stun in this game. Ugh. That's why, like, one of the biggest flaws is getting comboed by anything and everything. Like, I just tried to shoot that guy and... Oh, my gosh. Piers! Come on! Goodness! I only died once on this dang chapter, and I hope I don't die again. Re-recording was never the, the 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 test run of this chapter was nowhere near this bad. But I guess that's what happens. When you have your skills on. It just shows it just shows you how good they are. How easy it is to overpower yourself. I swear, man, it's one of the biggest flaws of this game is just getting comboed. Getting stun locked and getting stun looped and just getting looped. You get shot by an enemy, oh, your character goes to an annoying animation that you can't cancel out of it and you just have to take it. And then if there's an enemy with an automatic around, you can just get looped forever and you can just die if there's enough. And that part right there is one of the biggest examples of it. And it's so annoying to deal with. But hey, I'll just press on. So, ooh, here's Ada. Went through the door. She lo locks it. We just kick it open and roll in. What the? No! Dang it. Alright. Now we've had that guy stunned. We can just throw him. Yeah, there's enemies in this room, and, you know. One. There we go. Shut the head off. There's going to be enemies that are going to come through this door. And, um, yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to shotgun these enemies out. Whew. Thankfully, the door saved me. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, we can just melee this guy while his back is turned and slip the throat. Alright, I still have room. Plenty of room. <laughs> Thankfully, uh, the door's closed. We can progress. Kind of a break spot. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna fight that enemy because that enemy's just gonna blow up. Oh my gosh! I just got stun locked. Oh man. Watch the camera just do what it wants. Okay, really? It only did, it only did that all the other times. <laughs> the first time it didn't do it. It's like, oh snap, that's really, that's really forgiving. Oh my goodness, just die. Get out of the way. Whew, dead. No, you don't. No. Die! <laughs> Every single enemy you fight on this difficulty is going to be a massive pain. And it's going to be a legitimate threat. Well, since... I don't want to... Use my herbs, I'm just going to use a first aid spray. Alright, Ada's going in there, and, yeah, we're going to have to follow her, but unfortunately, there's going to be a, a wave of enemies in this little small space. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to hide behind here, telling Piers to move in. There we go. Good. That guy blew up. No, you don't. What the... No, 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 no. See, you said I just got stun locked. Oh my goodness, stop. There we go. 
bastards are so dangerous. Oh man. Alright. No, 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 no. Come on. Alright. Come on, aren't they supposed to like crash through? There's another enemy out here, isn't there? Well, where is that enemy? Okay, track Ada Wong. All right, let's track Ada Wong then. Okay, I know they're supposed to be. Okay, there it is. There's the proc. Yeah, and then they spawn behind you. What the? See, I hate when they do that. You just shoot them, and they just do not get stunned. In my opinion, if you shoot an enemy in the face like a Juavo, they should always get stunned. Because these enemies are too fucking dangerous otherwise. It is so annoying when they just do that. They just run behind you, ignore all your bullets. And they just... Ugh, so annoying when they do that. There we go. Dead. Dead. Goodness, the sniper is so useful. Pumps out so much damage. All right, let me get out of get out of sight. All right, let's those together. Whew, finally, it's all good. Like if you don't if you don't die on this chapter, congratulations, you are very you're a very solid player. This chapter is very hard not to die on on this difficulty. Really difficult not to die on. Alright, yeah, should be an enemy in here. It's alright, we can easily Oh no you don't. One, two, three, four, yeah. No you don't, sir. Good night. Hand grenade. Ooh, flash grenade. Yeah, flash bangs are so good. And I guess we can. Do we really need that grenade? No, we do not. <laughs> yeah, this part is so difficult. This whole campaign is just so difficult. Oh my gosh, die! Goodness, it takes so much ammo. Okay, we loaded the grenade launcher. I'm gonna have to cut this here in a little bit though, and I'll have to make another part. So there goes a Nesdo. You can just completely bypass it. Make sure you hurry up and move, though. Alright, yeah. Pierce is finally following us. He's not getting stun-locked, either. Alright. Everything is going good. Yeah, and... As I'm recording this right now, I... I, I had to do Chris's... I had to do Chris's campaign on... I had to do chapter four on Chris's campaign so many times. So, yeah, this guy... We're just gonna blow him up. Yeah. Let's just blow them both up. Because those guys have a retardedly high chance to mutate into, like, the berserker heads. And I'm not dealing with that. So, um, everybody like this part, comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you all later. You all take care now.